get started. Um, looks like we have a lobby set up and teams are about to be selected. Um, we are going to be casting tonight San Francisco Thunderbirds versus the Seattle Sea Lions. Uh, two teams I haven't actually casted much this league. Um, I've played against both of them, but that was way back when. So let's see. It looks like we are going to have the Thunderbirds. Are you defending first on... Well, it's Lee Shong, so it doesn't really matter. But they're blue team. Um, looks like we're going to have Ruhe in. I'm assuming she's playing support, because she seems to play a lot of support. Yeah, she's going to be playing support. They're just not in order yet. Diamond support. Mr. Fundino coming in at a diamond tank. Let's see what he was. Season 26, diamond tank. Flamingo coming in is a silver. Silver DPS, bronze support. Kaijuo, apologies for the names, um, is going to be saw plat damage. Gone, is gone on SF Thunderbirds? I don't think he is. Um, it's a plat damage, unless that's their sub. And it's Josh, who has a private profile. Nice, and they're going to be going up against... Uh, Looks like Scarlet is playing for Seattle. Support, silver support. Dippity, who I believe is a plat support. Zauclis? Zauclis? Listen. You guys try me with the name. Solid gold across the board. Hax EMP, who I believe is a diamond DPS. Ooh. He master. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Sable. Who's going to be... Oh, apparently Gon and Kalua want spec. Uh, um, okay, they want to spec blue only. It looks like they have people trying out or potentially coasting. I would say, you know, watch my stream, but it looks like that's not what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm here to support the homie support by watching the stream, y'all. I can't spell. Whoops. Alright, looks like uh, Sable's gonna be gold tank, silver DPS. Frostcatcher, I believe, is a support player. Alright, and then it looks like Frostcatcher coming in at Plat. Alright. Well, those are quite the rosters. Um, I don't... I'm still waiting for It's Josh to unprivate. I'm assuming someone else will catch that. Um, it ain't gonna be me. Looks like we have Lau here as a moderator. Always nice to see poor Lau. Um, yeah. Like I said, I haven't watched um, these teams much. It looks like both of them have, or at least Seattle has a lot of, uh, or no, SF has some support coming in. Um, some people who are going to spec blue. Um, it looks like we have people leaving and coming back. My mic is super quiet. Might just not be close to my face, so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I will not swap spec scenes until I can hide the chat, just in case people say something um, interesting. So we'll see, we'll see. I don't think Lau's gonna ask me for an R, but sometimes the moderators do, and then I always feel bad if I'm talking and I've hidden chat and they're just waiting on me, so. But I think Lau's just gonna go. Assuming. We can hide chat and move over, I guess. Wait. Okay, he's just gonna ask them, so we can swap. Alrighty. Well. 
yeah, my mic is maxed right now, so this is what it is. Sorry, uh, this is just how my cheap mic go. Alright, I'm assuming we're starting? I'm assuming we're starting. You're ancient, so your ears are just bad. How old are you, Kilfeed? I don't think... You're not much older than me, so I can't classify you as ancient without inadvertently just destroying myself as well. Um, hopefully they're not asking. Alright, hold on. They aren't asking for me. Cool. Oh, the whole Florida Mayhem roster. I don't... It's you... Oh, I see. Bees is also here. Who's here? Who's here? We have bees, burglars, dippity, Finley, FTB, OW, GBS no, is here, Kill yeah, Feeder's here, Lau's time. here, L Tech, Slap Clips, and Zen Zushu. Thanks for stopping by. Also, Deadstock's here, as well as Nightbot, the ever, -presence moderate, ever present ever present moderator. Alright, we're gonna start out on Garden. Good map for a Phara or Echo, some aerial DPS. Let's see if anyone's going to pick that and take advantage of that. Now, I know Hax EMP actually has a really good um, Hanzo, if I remember correctly. Um, so we'll see if they stick with the Hanzo or if they pull out something else. I'm very curious. Ready for battle. Yep, Nightbot is instructed to shoot on sight, so beware. All right, it looks like we're going to have a Ryan Zarya coming out for ESF Thunderbirds. Chucho and It's Josh acting as main tank. Flamingo on the McCree. Mr. Fundino on the Tracer. Ruhe is going to be on the Anna. Legend Lubu uh, has not yet. Oh, going to be Lucio. Then we have Scarlet on the Baptiste. Dippity is going to be on the McCree. Zalclus on the Lucio. Haxian P on the Tracer. And then a Ryan Zarya of their own. Frostcatcher on the Ryan. Interesting. I thought she played mostly support. All right, they're gonna be fighting in this white room over the mini. Team with Lucio got there first, not a surprise, but Dippity does manage to get the pick onto Flamingo. As if Thunderbirds are already playing down, run nice down onto the Reinhardt, and then it's just going to be the clean up. Who is the tanks? Oh, that's not the tank, because they're not in order. Tanks at F12. All right, Sable's gonna go and cap the point. That's not exciting. Frostcatcher, it looks like. Nice clean up, Flamingo does get a parting pick onto Dippity. So that is down for the reset, but first cap is going to go to Seattle Sea Lions. Sweet. Oh, hi, Caboose. I do see you, but you just got here since I last checked. All right, we have 50% or 90% for this Shatter here. Could get it next fight against 50% for the SF team. Ooh, Shatter's here. Goes out. It's going to get three on the ground. Nice pin in. Nice sleep. It's just going to be Finn Fundino gets a pick onto Hax EMP. Dippity gets a pick onto It's Joss. So it's a much bigger pick onto the main tank. It is a Zarya duel off in the corner, but there is a Lucio here supporting Chucho. Although they are dangerously low, and they are going to get smacked. It's Joss still coming back, and then Frostcatcher with another pick. Immortality comes out to save the team, and it looks like Dippity and Scarlet are just going to clean this up. They have window in their pocket as well as high noon also a pulse bomb let's see where is hacks EMP gonna pick up a health pack let's watch this tracer and see if they are going to put a pulse they have pulses on both sides actually let's see which tracer can get a stick first hacks EMP is trying to get in a position for it who knows where they are nice golden guns Ooh, I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it window coming out from Scarlet and Mr. Fandino gets the pulse bomb for that. Hax EMP, of course, immediately sticks as soon as I look away from their perspective. So it is a trade. High Noon also came out from Dip and he does manage to get one. Legend Loop is going to get killed by Frostcatcher. Seattle is up on the point, but they did use quite a few ultimates there. Three ultimates total to secure that fight. Meanwhile, SF just used one, which means they are coming into the next fight, which is going to be the last fight with potentially five ultimates if they can get the touch. It is 90%. They have 10% to make it here. Legend Lubu does have the Lucio speed to try and get them through and it looks like someone's already positioning for touch it is the tracer over here it's josh coming in with a shatter shatter comes out is going to get three people on the ground beat comes out also for the seattle sea lions grab comes out from sf and it looks like sf is just going to press five ultimate q buttons 
Titans and manage to take the fight. Um, the only thing they will potentially have going into next fight is going to be this Pulse Bomb from Mr. Fundina, so it needs to be a fucking amazing Pulse Bomb. Um, we'll see. There is no grab to assist with it, so this is going to be quite the chance. Hack he also already positioning aggressively. Has been spotted. Nice blink into the wall. Have a little bit of a tracer duel. Recall first. Ooh, and we're out. Getting low. Never want to recall first in a trace duel. And they are down and out for the count. Dippity cleaning that up with some assist from Hack CMP. They're now down one as it looks like Seattle is going to push in. Three on the ground. Nice shatters from both tanks. Pulse Bomb does go on the Ana, but Frostcatcher manages to clean it up anyways. Going to try and push on the Zarya on the outside, but the team has not turned around to assist them. Scarlet's noticed that Frostcatcher is dangerous. So she's just stuck and is going to... Ooh, that is two. Oop, where is it? Mr. Panino is going to get flashed out, although. The fact that these teams aren't in order makes it very hard for me to switch perspectives. High Noon comes out just to defend point. Is going to get Ruhe. That was a nice Pulse Bomb from Mr. Fundino. Um, but yeah, the fact that Seattle's not in order makes it- I need to remember that F12 Score. is the main tank, Zero and not- to one. Uh, So the first segment... Ready right. let's look at the chat. Reinhardt, yes, dippity and bees, bees is in no. chat, Seattle Sea Lions is up one perspective- no, Or one segment, never. sorry, excuse me, uh, okay, so I have my tanks there, and then tanks are just at the other end with- so Pliss is kind of awkwardly in the middle of F9. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like we have some changes coming out. Ooh, Ryan Diva. It's Josh going over to Diva Choo Choo taking up the main tank slot. Flamingo gonna be sticking on the McCree. Fundino going on that junk rat. They have Mercy Lucio coming out for a very heavy damage raw map. Dippity is gonna bring out that's not Dippity. The Symmetra here. They have a Symmetra junk. This is a high damage comp. This diva's gonna hurt. Oh, you're not so good against him. Oop, but Flamingo manages to get a flash off on the Sim on the background. SF is still here, but we are almost at a Sim wall. That is two down to the beam. Nice dragon skin, by the way, as we are going out. Send some turrets out. It's going to manage to go down. Tries to do a res. The res is going to get immediately canceled by Hacks EMP. Diva is demect. Choo Choo is coming back from point. Flamingo's on the point. Is going to manage. Oh my god, they're just dropping like flies. Main tanks are on F12. Gotta remember that. Main tank on F12. Looks like San Francisco Thunderbirds are going to get the first cap with this high damage brawl comp. The Sim Junk Rat. Extremely strong on this map. And going into... Oh, it looks like we have the swap to a Mercy Baptiste to circumvent and try and get a little more healing for the team. They have a tire coming in here. Let's see if Mr. Fundino... It looks like he's going to use the tire from the back. Nope, just going to chuck some grenades. Both DPS coming from the back. Tries to use a cock mine. Uses a second cock mine to try and get the choo choo's already very low. Tire is coming out. It's going to manage to get the sim. Ooh, nice shatter. It's going to get two. Another tire is coming out. And I think it was killed. I didn't quite see it. But it looks like SF Thunderbirds are going to manage to get this off of a Valk, a Tire, and a really nice Shatter coming out from Choo Choo. Going to go and hold the doors aggress oh, very aggressively. Extremely aggressively. Too aggressively. That's unfortunate. Um, that is going to be immediate backup. And Earth Shatter is a little ambitious. Doesn't manage to find anything. Simwall aggressively to facilitate some aggression. This is... Oop, a Diva Bomb comes out, but that Sim wall is going to make it difficult for it to find any value, and it is just going to be killed by the Immort. Choo Choo is coming back after that unfortunate pin, but two of his teammates are already down. High Noon is coming out from something that is going to get cancelled by Hacks EMP, and Frostcatcher is just going to annihilate the enemy tank. And it looks like Seattle is going to rapidly retake this point. They are now at 50% going up against the 26, up double compared to the SF Thunderbirds. They have a window here as well as a beat coming in. Looks like this Lucy is going to do some taxi service. Haxi MP also has a tire and there is a grab coming in. Looks like the window is going to come out aggressively. Sable is probably looking for this grab here. Never mind, it looks like there's going to be a tire coming out. The grab also is coming out. Immort's there, although they're going to pin the Rhine out of it. Tire is going to get two in the back. The grab, they're just going to kind of let them walk away, but they are going to fall up. This Zarya is on incredibly low charge here, so not much that they can do for this. Looks like we have some swaps. Swimming is going to be going over to the Soldier this time, even though Mr. Fandino just managed to go down to Hacks EMP on the Junkrat. Ruhe again has Valkyrie. We also have a 
window coming from Legend Lubu. Let's see if they decide to window aggressively into this next fight. They only have a beat going in. They're gonna actually Valk. It looks like Valk and window. Nope. They're repositioning. They're thinking about it. They're considering. And it gets fucked up. The boop is nice. It actually gets, and then it's just gonna be there. Choo Choo is on point. Almost has a shatter. The beat is done. Window is still on thing, but it's gonna manage to find him. Two on the ground from shatter. Is there any damage to follow it up? Although it is going to be one, but it's going to get pinned out by Frostcatcher, and then there is no follow up. Too many down, and it looks like this is just going to be a clean up. Victory. And Seattle is going to take the first map in this series. Nice job, nice job. Let's see who gets to play the game. Some good shatters from both sides. Honestly, I see a lot of like support for Frostcatcher in the chat, but also it's Josh and. Choo Choo had some really good chatters like this one here. Basically, you could say either both Ryans are really good at getting shatters or both Ryans are really bad at blocking shatters. Both are possible. All right, 10% from greatness, Dippity. I almost got excited. But yeah, that is going to be one map point to the Seattle Sea Lions. Means it is going to now be SF Thunderbirds map pick for whatever selected map they want from the map pool, so of any map type. Yeah, good match, good match. All right. Let's see if there are gonna be any swaps right now. It looks like Seattle right now has a stacked roster, but I know they actually, I think, have like four people who are just specking to spec. Alrighty, let's check in on the chat. It just looks like some people appreciate the compliments on the cast. Alright, it looks like we're bullying Lau in the chat. Always acceptable and anticipated even. Hmm. But it does not look like they have picked a map or if they've decided any swaps. I mean, Seattle, I would expect to not have any swaps because they seem to be doing uh, really good thus far with the comp they currently have. Okay. Oop. Let's hide the chat and I can swap you guys over to the other screen because it looks like no one's talking about anything really important. All right, so... You can see we have all of these, uh, Kalua, Gone, and Reckless, I believe, are all just interlopers, and these other people on SF. I actually don't think Seattle has anybody, so Seattle can't make any swaps. This would all be on San Francisco if they want to swap. Um, I don't know. They swapped who was playing main tank even within that map, so maybe the It's Just just wasn't feeling the Reinhardt tonight. But, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know who they would... They have Ethelred, who is a support, I believe, and Kaiju, whoa, who is a plat DPS. I believe they could run if they wanted to. Uh, I think Flamingo had a couple of good picks, and Flamingo had a really good pulse bomb on Gardens, that double pulse there right at the end, but it was just too little too late. Um, there wasn't enough team alive to actually capitalize off of those picks. And we're still hanging out here, um, waiting for San Francisco to decide a map. We can decide if they're going to go to, let's see, what are, um, looks like, what are their map picks? You would think, doing this enough, I would have the roster up, especially considering, like, I just played a game. Um, that I would know maybe what the map pool was for this week. I mean, I know the two CP ones is going to be Anubis, Full Sky, Hanamura, because that's the same every week. But it looks like they could potentially take them to. Um, did it, this is a week eight game, right? Yes, this is week eight game. So it is going to be either Dorado, Rialto, Route 66, or Gibraltar, Blizzard, Hollywood, or Numbani. Um, both of them seem to be liking the Rhine Zarya, so I don't think they would go to Numbani, which is kind of more of a divey map. Winston and Diva tend to do better there. Same with Gibraltar, anything with a lot of high ground. You probably don't want to do... I mean, they could do Rialto. Um, I don't know. They had... They had Junk, Tracer, Soldier, McCree for SF. None of those are really 
pop off heroes on either of these, any of these maps, really. I mean, Dorado can be good for Junkrat if they wanted to continue with the junk, but they seem to be good on the Tracer, which I think Dorado is also good for because there's a lot of off angles you can take. I don't know. We're still waiting for them to pick a map. Okay, uh, GBS wants to tell Kaiju that he loves him. That's very sweet. Alright, um, still waiting for the map pick. We are taking an eternity. It, they do have to pick it in a minute before their timeout time starts. Or their buy time. Alright, we're still chilling. How is everyone in chat doing? Looks like people are very hyped up. I see a lot of emotes. I did expand. Originally, Nightbot was to time out anyone who used more than two emotes, but I did expand it in a fit of generosity and just mercy. Um, so now you can spam emotes a little bit more, but not entirely. Alrighty. Looks like we are going to get some swaps on the side of San Francisco Thunderbirds. We're going to have our plat DPS come in. Genji main. Genji Hanzo. Shimada Brothers and some Tracer. Ooh, Shimada Brothers and some Tracer. Shimada Brothers and some Mercy. Shimada Brothers. Shimada Brothers. Do you think this guy plays more than two heroes? We're about to find out. All right, and then we also... Oop, Legend Lubu's already been in. We have Ethel Red, who is a support player. I'm going to be a bronze support player. Mostly Moira, some Mercy, and some Lucio. Alright. Again, no swaps for Seattle because I believe this is just their roster. I don't want to span caps, but what's the limit? I can look it up for you right now. I have to go to Nightbot's website where I have established all these things so I can give you the actual limit and it looks like we're not doing anything right now so you know uh, da -da -da -da, spam protection uh, excessive caps options the limit is 20 so you have 20 letters you may capitalize <laughs> Looks like we are still waiting on a map. It is technically one minute after they were supposed to get the map to allow. But we are just chilling, waiting. I'm going to very quickly unhide the chat, and it's just going to be nonsense. So, never mind. No actual information gained there. All right. Still waiting for... Ooh! It's going to be Hanamura. Going to be Hanamura. Now, I'm guessing... Uh, Kaijuo. Kaijuo? Kaiju Uwu? I don't know. I don't know how to say this name. I'm just going to call you Kaiju. Apologies if that's incorrect. Um, I'm guessing they're going to be on Hanzo for the defense, because that seems to be what they play. Possibly with Ethelred on the Mercy to pocket. Maybe? We'll see. I'm expecting Ryan's Arias from both sides. Unless one of them decides to surprise me. Scarlet probably on the Baptiste. Haxi and P maybe on the aggressive Hanzo as well. We shall see. We shall see. Let's see. Actually, we may be seeing a Sim strat. There are some good sim teleporter options to kind of bypass this one choke and just try and take point A. Depending on what... Oh, it's a Genji, not a Hanzo. Alright, looks like we have the Ryan Zarya as predicted. Oh no, Kaijuo is on the Hanzo. Mr. Fundino is going to go to the Genji, and then we are going to have a Bap Anna. 
That's a lot of healing for the ground team, so that could be super useful. Immortality is going to be nice to save the Rhine in a tight spot, and Legend Lubu is going to be good to give some nanos to this Blading Genji. They are going to be pushing into Scarlet on the Baptiste, Dippity on the Symmetra, Zalclis on the Lucio, Taxi and Peak switching over to the aggressive May, and then a Rhine Zarya. Whoop. Zarya. Rhine. Let's start on this Reinhardt and see where the attacking team decides to go. Fire Strike into spawn coming out. Doesn't manage to find anything. They're having some questions to decide to go right side. Looks like they're gonna try and do an aggressive teleport, maybe. Dippity's thinking about it. He's got he's got it queued up. He's waiting. Teleporter happens. They teleport to point. Are they gonna wall off behind it? They're gonna wall off behind it. Nice strat. Good sleep onto the Reinhardt, but Mr. Pretty No and Chichu to get two picks. Taxi and P and Scarlet both going down. Dippity gets a nice pick on Miss with the um uh, blah. Anyway, people are dying. Frostcatcher goes down. Dippity also goes down. Kaiju is able manages to kill themselves, and they're going to clean up the teleporter and continue to hold the point. No percentage or ticks were gained in that offense. But they did gain some ultimate charge. It's Joss at 72% for uh, the SF Thunderbirds, 41%. About tied with Kaijuo on 50%. And then, I mean, everyone's about 40%. It's just really the only one that's kind of above. Meanwhile, on Seattle Sea Lions, the only one who's really got anything going is gonna be Zalclis, who's pretty close to beat. Are they gonna try? Oh, they swapped off Dippity going onto the Hanzo. Hax EMP onto the McCree. They're gonna just try and boot through this. Joss shatters his shield, doesn't manage to find anything. As we we're just exchanging poke through this, looks like we're going to be playing for Hax MP to get a pick. Are they going to be aggressively in? They are way up on support ultimates, but maybe they just don't know that yet. <laughs> Nanoblade is going to find Scarlet. B comes out against the Nanoblade. It is not enough to save you from Nanoblade, although that is going to be three kills going to Mr. Fundino before he finally gets taken out by Hax EMP on the McCree. They do have a grab dragons combo, however, for the next fight. But they are going to let them walk out, not get super aggressive. Looks like Seattle Sea Lions is just going to stick around, try and regroup Sable dangerously. That is going to be a lot of healing for the tanks. They do have a window coming into the next fight. That's really going to be their only saving chance. But I think this Grab Dragon is probably going to clean up this fight. Unless someone amazingly fucks something up here. Immortality still got to kill that Immort. They got it eventually, but that's after the Grab Dragons is out. So it looks like it does get used, does buy some time, but doesn't manage to find any kills. Disappointing to say the least. All right, we just have windows on both sides. Choo Choo gets a nice pick actually onto Dippity. Kaiju is gonna follow it up with a nice pick onto Hax EMP, and it looks like they're just going to mechanics this fight out after the disappointing Grab Dragons. Oh, Sable's Dangerous Slow. If that Zarya gets picked, that is a nice reset on their energy there. Shatter from Frostcatcher goes into a shield. Jossi and Frost are both tied for shield shatters here. And it looks like SF Thunderbirds continue to hold. One minute and 14 seconds left to capture point A. Ooh, but that is a nice pick from Hax EMP on to Kaijuo. Does have the high noon. There is also a grab on the side of, ooh, but a big shatter coming out, but counter grab. Step right up, that high noon from Hax EMP is going to come from the back line, is going to get two. And right now it is just Mr. Fundino and it's Jaws here. Nano comes out onto the Reinhardt here, but he is just going to slowly walk at two DPS characters and as well as Azaria. Not much the man can do there, desperately holding M2 as he tries to survive and stall as long as he can. But that is done, that does look like a point take for the Seattle Sea Lions. Nice goodbye pick onto Zalclus on the Lucio. Oof, take some poke across the point. All right, and they're going to have three minutes and a little bit of change to capture point B. Not impossible. They have window and B going into this fight. They are going into a dragon strike, however, but they might save it. Also, a blade is coming up. Nano has been reset, although, so there will not be a nano blade in the future. That's very good news for Seattle. They have been spotted, however. My ultimate is charging. Yeah, they want the nano blade. It's not gonna happen. Maybe they can shatter blade. I don't know. They're gonna try pushing up this tiny corridor. Dragon into the window is going to get three. It's gonna be big. Four. It's very good. It's very good. Nice cleanup onto Frostcatcher there with the storm arrow. That was very nice. Well played. 
All right. I mean, Greetings. coming up on grab, but they can grab blade this, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. But they're possibly gonna get shatter first. I don't know. Frostcatcher coming up on a shatter of their own. Haxi MP also almost has. Oop, Haxi MP almost has high noon. If they can set this man up on the high ground, he can probably get a lot of really good value for them. Is gonna get tagged by the Anna. Is gonna get healed up by the Lucio. Oof. Dangerously hurt, but it's gonna manage to push through. Looks like they're gonna try and go catwalk. Gonna see. Ooh, but the deflect is good and it just annihilates Hacks MP. Immort is there, Immort is down. They are going onto the low ground trying to get this Hanzo on the high ground. Hanzo has to drop for health. And right now it is a straight brawl on point. And this is going to favor the defenders quite heavily at this point. And this is a bit of a feed. It's this time to jump off the map. Jump off. They're out. Run away, y'all. All right. But now they have Grab Blade here. They actually have Nano Blade as well. Legend Luba doing a good job building that Nano. Ethelred also has Window. They also have Shatter. Meanwhile, Seattle Sea Lions is going to have a Dragon of their own. They have a beat. They have this high noon. They're coming up on grab, but they also have this shatter. I would play for this shatter, maybe a high noon, and then hopefully you get the grab in the fight and then can clean up with the grab dragon if you need to on point. Nano comes out. It is a nano blade in the back line. Is already going to get two. Going to get three. Kaijuo helping with two picks, and that is all the team. Run away, Lucio. Clean and fast engage. Just a little bit no. faster. They have the combo set up. They're going to win the next fight off of Grab Dragon. Shatter if they need to. Keep Shatter if they can. I mean, they are closer. The Seattle is closer to a Grab Dragon of their own now. Sable about to hit 90% on that ultimate charge. But they have to know they're pushing into Grab Dragons. This beat could be big. They do have beat and immortality to help them survive the Grab Dragons. Someone has to capitalize to get this beat. Grab comes out. Dragon comes out. The Immort is there. The window happens. And the shatter. Oof. But 10 seconds remaining. So four ultimates. Dippity does manage to get two in that. And we're doing some nice victory emoting from Choo Choo. They will not be able to touch and contest. Only a point A cap for the Seattle Sea Lions. One. All right. Size. Now let's see if the Thunderbirds can manage to pull off the two of the two CP. Initiating match. Here we go again. Yeah, they just had combos there. I think their their team comp was a little bit more set up uh, to facilitate combos. They had the Nano Blade. They have the Grad Dragons. They even had the Shatter Window if they really needed that combo. Like they were just there was a plan. It was an easy plan, but it's still good. Hi, Weedy. Yeah, the, the hallway is a very big, like, it's a good choke. Really? Anywhere you can, like, force them into a tiny, like, single file line um, is good. Yes, all right. Looks like for the defenders, Attackers. we are still making some decisions. So let's look at the attacker team comp, which seems to have been Ryan Zarya. No. I don't know if this far is real, um, but maybe a Fara. Looks like Fundino's gonna stick to the Genji. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a Hanzo, Genji, Ethelred on the Baptiste, Legend Lubu on the Ana. And then it looks like for Seattle on defense, we're gonna have Scarlet on the Baptiste, Zulklis on the Lucio Dippity coming out on the McCree, Haxi MP on the Junkrat, and then a Rhine Zarya. Let's follow It's Josh and see where this attack goes. They have scouted to see if anyone's pushing on the high ground. They know they have a Zarya now, but that's a big shock. Fire Strike goes out, doesn't manage to find much of anything. It looks like they're going to just try and brute force through the choke. Nice pick onto Ethelred from Hax EMP. That is a shit ton of their healing. Down and out for the count. Looks like they're gonna continue to push forward, kind of just trying to poke it out, see if they can get a pick of their own. Nice Fire Strike into the enemy back line. Both Ryan's about halfway to Earth Shatter here as they just... Haxip is going to get another pick that's two people down on Haxip. Haxip is going to get a tire here sooner rather than later if he keeps playing like this. Again, just smacking each other around. Is Fundino going to try and take some odd angles? Nope, we're just going to shoot arrows down choke. We need to deal with that Junkrat, sir. That is your job. 
Don't miss. He's missed. All right. Well, it looks like we are down one DPS. It looks like they just cannot remove Fundino, or not Fundino, Hax EMP on this high ground. He continues to spam through into the enemy spawn. They do have grab here. Window is going to come out from Scarlet. Gonna force them to LOS the main choke and wait a bit before they can continue. Looks like Ethelred is jumping up to try and contest Hax EMP. It's Josh coming out with a nano, but he's going to just get high noon by Dippity. Oop, Dippity, who is going to get immediately cleaned up. Grav comes out. But it is just going to get cleaned up. That was, I think, a misclick for the Grav. All right. Nice high noon coming from Dippity, so I missed it. I'm not used to the player being on F8. It looks like we're still coming in here with a Shatter. Potentially could do Shatter Dragons. Not as cool, but there is a Tire coming out. Dragon's going to come out to counter, try and split the team. It's just Josh here right now. Oop, two down there, even right now. Both traded. It's Josh is going to get two picks off of that really sick Nano from, or Nano, not Nano, the Anti from Legend Lubu. Immortality also helps save him, and they are going to clean up and manage to take that one minute and 32 seconds on the clock right now. But I think they get an additional three minutes for a cap? Two minutes? Scarlet's Babskin looks like it's sponsored by Sprite. It does. It's not a good look. Listen, most of... Most of the skins in this game, unless they're exotic, are not super great. The color swatches are not. No, someone who was colorblind decided them, I swear to God. All right, looks like we have a grab here for the Seattle Sea Lions. Not much to go with it. Hax EMP swapping over to the Torb. Um, they do are coming up on a Nano Blade for the San Francisco Thunderbirds Kaiju. Kaiju. I'm just going to call it Kaiju because every time I try to say the Uo, it's bad. Looks like they're gonna be dropping to point Seattle to try and defend from up here, seeding the high ground. It's probably bad. You don't really want to set, Ethel Red has a window here and could just kind of set themselves up on the high ground. I would window right now and just start doing some heavy poke here. They're just gonna build this nano blade. Here it goes. They grab the nano blade. That is one way to deal with it. It's Josh tries to help, tries to get in the grab to shield his teammate from a gun of damage. Shatter comes out, is going to get the Zarya on the ground. Also is going to manage to pick up Scarlet in that. Rav comes out from the San Francisco Thunderbirds, and that is going to be a clean point push. It is now one to one here with San Francisco Thunderbirds versus the Seattle Sea Lions. Let's see who got, I'm going to bet it is, yeah, the dragon. It wasn't even the grab dragon, it's going to be in that hallway. Yep. Sonic goes down. He waits. He watches. Oh, it is the Grab Dragon. Never mind. Oh, this is the Grab Dragon window shatter. So that was really a team play of the game right there. So close. It's Josh. And so close, Ethelred. We were almost there. All right, let's update the score. We are now one to one here. It is now... The Seattle Sea Lions map pick. They can pick either pick either hybrid or escort of any map in the map pool, which we have already gone over, so I'm not gonna say it to you again. Alright, let's see. SF can also make any swaps they want, although I don't know why they would swap when they're on a winning streak. You wanna keep those players that are warmed up and excited in. But what do I know? <laughs> okay, so if you're Seattle, if you're Seattle, you know you have Hack CMP who's doing good on the Hanzo, but Kaiju was doing just a bit better. But I think that was also a lot off of uh, Chucho's got some really nice grabs in there that really facilitated his play. They really want to be running, they want to be running Scarlet on the Baptiste, they want to be running Zoclus on the Lucio. <sighs> Does Zoclus play Mercy? They don't play Mercy, like at all. Oh, no, never mind. Just this season. Turns out they're a Mercy main. 
So you could you could take him to Rialto and run a pharmacy, um, because they were running double Shimada Brothers, and that's gonna struggle against a pharmacy. Any map with a pharmacy, I think, would be good. Even you could, I think, Hax EMP has a pretty decent echo, so you could do a double flyer comp, or you could just have the echo. Like that would be a really good strategy. Um, I think they're gonna stick to the Rhine Zarya because they seem to be liking it thus far. I just think on that map, uh, again, I think the team comp that SF had has so many built-in combos. Like they had the Nano Blade and they had the Grav Dragons that they didn't really need to plan, and therefore because they didn't need to plan what they're going to do in a fight, they just could execute, and that made them so much faster to press Q and take the advantage, and they are going to go to Rialto. Are we going to see a Pharmacy? Are we going to see a double flyer comp? Only time will tell. But yeah, I think SF just had the built-in combos, which just made it so fast to decide what to do, and they were so good about it and just cleaned up like crazy. But let's see, let's see. Seattle played very well on that first control map. So anything goes for the next one. <laughs> Not entirely sure what we're waiting for. Can I guess unhide the chat for a moment? Oh boy. Let's hide that shit again. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see that. Alright. So we're just chilling here in the menu screen. You can go to the exciting. I like to use this because it was nice and Ruhe made it for me. So I like to use this uh, little overlay thing. It's cool. I also get to show off the nice drawing Maria made for me. <sighs> well, still waiting for the map to start. Just chilling in my apartment. Cats are both asleep, so I have a moment of peace and quiet. Pizza is cold, however. I microwaved it before the game started, but I did not manage to finish it before the game started, so now I just have cold pizza, which is sad. Um, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Waiting and waiting for people to make decisions about whether or not they want to go. All right. Potentially they're taking a halftime. It seems like no one... So there was a question of whether or not people wanted a halftime, and then there was just the nonsense that we saw a brief glimpse of earlier, and now no one has said anything. So hopefully it won't be a halftime, because then I have to stall for time for so many minutes. Tell them about the drawing? Um, so yeah, so this drawing... There's an explanation for these drawings. Um... For a while, so we like to do themes in the Hanzo Spark, or not Hanzo Spark, but the Hanzo Heckhound server. We like to do themes for nicknames. Um, right now, the current theme is bands um, that you think describe a person, and you can't pick your own nickname. But previously, you were able to pick your own nickname, and we have done a lot of themes. And one of the themes for our nickname is... Uh, or one of the themes was ways we would murder someone if we were going to murder someone. And I said, because I thought it would be interesting, that I would like to peel the skin off of someone so they had no skin and then dunk them in lemon juice because it's very mild acid and when you have skin, it doesn't hurt at all. But imagine if you didn't have skin, that would be extremely painful and I just kind of want to see what happens. So this was, uh, Maria then made drawings for all of us inspired off of how we said we would murder people and this was the drawing Maria made for me. And it is beautiful and I will keep it until she gives me a new drawing. Thank you. All the compliments on my casting are very nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I try to give everyone spec time and at least go through everything. Because they're all good players. They're all exciting, interesting players here. And they are still players who are hesitant to start the next map and forcing me to fill the airtime. 
Alrighty. Well, we're still here in the menu screen. Just chilling on a Sunday. I hope you all had a nice Sunday. Also, the cast for uh, the other game tonight, Tokyo vs. Chengdu, is going to start in like 13 minutes. So if you have two monitors, maybe you can duo watch both casts. Or if you have a teammate or a friend that plays on Chengdu or Tokyo, I won't be mad if you go over there. Um, it looks like Ali is casting that tonight. If people are interested. Exciting, exciting night. Alrighty. We are still waiting for them to start the game. I think that... I'm guessing this means they're taking a halftime. In which case... I have time to stall for and fill dead air for. Which is um, always a mistake when... I'm just given silence and told to ramble because it's the first thing that comes into my head. Um, which, in this case, we're going to Rialto. Let's talk about Italy. Um, Italy is a fascinating country. It kind of looks like a weird shoe in the middle of the Mediterranean. Um, the Phoenicians were probably one of the earlier... I think they were Italian or were the Phoenicians Greek? I think the Phoenicians were Greek, actually. But they did some early trading and some early establishment of the Mediterranean, even before Roman was a thing. Let's Google Phoenicians. I think they were Italian. Nope, Greek. Well, hard to say. They were in Italy, too. But Phoenicia was an ancient Semitic-speaking Thalas, Thala, Thalasocratic civilization that originated in Levant, the region of the eastern Mediterranean, primarily near modern Lebanon. Nice. But they did a lot of trading and established some colonies. And that's pretty much all I know about them. Let's see. What does Wikipedia tell us about the Phoenicians? Um, they created a lot of colonies along there. I knew that part. Oh, they were known for their dye, which was known as Ty Tyrian Purple. A major export of Canite port towns, which... Welcome to reality. Apparently was not something the Phoenicians used to describe it themselves, but what the Greeks called it. And it's debated whether the Phoenicians the were Canaanites or whether they were different. Interesting. Huh. But now we're in the map, so I don't have to talk about this anymore. Amazing. What do you call a herd of giraffes? I don't actually know. I do know... Um, a tower, that's very cute. But I do know that giraffes have, um, are actually very aggressive, and they, like, whack the shit out of each other with their necks and will do battle. But furthermore, the most interesting thing is that male giraffes will actually drink the urine of a female giraffe to tell if she's in season for mating. And so there is a lot of pee drinking in giraffe culture. And it's very funny because they literally just whack them on the ass. To stimulate them to go pee. And then they drink it. And now you know that terrible fact. And we're stuck here together with that terrible fact in our heads. As we watch the team set up on Rialto. It looks like we're going to have SF Thunderbirds doing a Ryan Zarya. Kaijuo going over to the Widow. Fundino is going to stick on the Genji. Ethelred on the Bep. Legend One. Lubu on no, the Anna. Scarlet on the Baptiste, Dippity on the McCree, Zalclus going over to the Mercy, Haxium P on the Hanzo, with a sick hog. This is very interesting. Let's see. This hog potentially could be a great play, but could also potentially uh, could be a giant feed as you are kind of an alt battery. This Zarya is out of position, although, and is going to get picked by Dippity with some assistance from Frostcatcher. It's Drowsy just not able to go and support the aggression that Choo Choo wanted. Choo Cho? I don't know. Hook onto the Reinhardt. Get some damage into him. Nice sleep onto Frostcatcher. It's Josh. He almost has an Earth Shatter here. They have the Sig Shield to block Earth Shatter, but that is kind of difficult. Immortality comes out to save the Reinhardt. Dippity Dangerous Leo is going to go down. Earth Shatter is here. It's gonna come out, and it's just gonna destroy everyone, but there is very little damage follow-up. Choo Cho is back, although on the Sigma this time. Nice eat coming out. Rez comes out for Scarlet on Baptiste, but Kaiju does manage to pick Zalclus in the Rez. 
They are down one support, but they are slowly but steadily pushing this cart towards point eight. Now there's another pick coming out. Dragon becomes him. This is a naked blade, but it's still gonna get three picks. Nice anti-nade from Legend Lubu to support it a little bit. And now they have a nano for building. They also almost have sights. Let's see. Let's watch. Let's watch. You've been sonic You know you've been sonic They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They almost have sights. Press Q. No one can hide. There you go. Now you're matching the Hanzo. Nope, that's a whiff shot. They're thinking about it. Nice skin, though. I like this widow skin. Oh, looks like we have some funky positioning happening. It looks like we are going possibly to set a window. Window high noon up on the high ground. Oh, nice headshot on Tidipity. See, as soon as I go away from the Widow, they immediately get a headshot. She's gonna, the Widow's gonna get two picks. Rez comes out, Lift comes out, Immor comes out to counter the Lift, but that pin hurts. It's just gonna be a clean up here. Let's see. Legend Lubu almost at a Nano, and Fundino almost has a another dragon blade here so they may just save it like they're already at like 80 percent almost if he can build it in this next like few seconds before the engage it may just be worth it to save it i'm a little scared doesn't want to pick too much or poke too much come on you're so close to this blade you're so close Shatter comes out, just managed to find anything. Nano comes out, the blade comes out, and it's just going to be one. Lift is also in play from Sable, it looks like, but it didn't manage to find anything in the back, but we were specking this Genji. But the Lucio, the Lucio finally manages to clean up the Lucio, and then dash away. And the emote for flavor. All right. Well, now we're kind of in an awkward situation because we have sights coming up, and we also have window. And it looks like they're thinking about the window. Ethel Red, oh, knows they're gonna be pushing here. Window attempts, but is gonna get picked for it. And right now, it is, the team is up there. Bap, one of the teams is down, and that is an unfortunate thing. Step right up, High Noon comes out, is going to manage to get one pick, even though Dippity is going to drop to Mr. Fundino. Haxi MP is going to find the pick onto Mr. Fundino, Frostcatcher onto It's Joshi. Looks like Seattle finally has control at this point, but it's 10 seconds remaining. What are you doing back here, Choo Choo? Going to try and eat that eat was a little early. Is going to manage to get picked. It's Joshi. I don't think they can manage to get it back. Could you on the tracer? Can you contest this point? Shatter come Ooh, no, you can't. Shatter came out, but it doesn't look like it managed to find much of anything. And it looks like Seattle will cap. That's two minutes and thirty seconds back on the clock as SF desperately tries to back up. Choo Choo gets a little bit of an awkward spawn situation. He's going to have to back up and it looks like they are going to get cleaned up. Etheret on the Moira instead of the Baptiste. Ooh, we actually have a Lucio getting some picks, but is going to get picked for his hubris. Let's see. Mr. Fundino just cleaning up. They almost have another fucking Nano Blade. My god, sir. My god. Hax EMP. Ooh, not Hax EMP. Ooh, that is an unfortunate. And the Nano Blade is out. Ooh. He's so clean with it. He's so clean with it, man. Clean up the Reinhardt. They're so low. Oh, too far. It's Josh is going to get the kill credit off of Sable jumping off the map. Nice whack with the hammer. Gives a little bit of a boop. Looks like we have Dippity going over to the May to stall it out. We also have a lift and a shatter here, both tank ultimates available. Let's watch Choo Choo and see if this is gonna be a god tier lift. Nice rock, manages to tap Scarlet on the head. A dragon and a window coming out here for Seattle, as well as a beat in the tank. They're gonna be ready for this lift. So ready. Beat comes out, but that does mean potentially a free shatter. Free Shatter. Shatter comes out. I don't think it manages to find much of anything. 60 seconds on the clock. Fundino just managed to get Hax EMP, but Hax EMP, Frostcatcher actually, is going to manage to get Fundino. Shatter comes out, doesn't manage to find anyone from either Reinhardt. Everyone was doing so well with the Earth Shatters on Li Zhang, and it just seems to have all disappeared. Nice eat of the Fire Strike coming out from Shucho. Rock comes out, doesn't manage to find anything. No one can hide from her sights. 
This bridge is a very nice place for Widow to position over. Shield is very low. Sights are alive and available. Ooh, nice pick. Nice pick. That's a dangerous pick, too, because that stalls it out even further. And they are getting into last fight territory. 17 seconds on the clock. And there's a shatter in play. I mean, they still have this window. They still have this dragon that they've been holding on to for a while. Sleep onto the Reinhardt. That is a nice sleep. Looks like we're going to do a flank shatter. It's going to get three on the ground. This May here is holding M1 on him. That is going to slow him down and prevent him from doing damage. But luckily, Fundino is here in the plate. It is going to manage to clean up. Lift comes out and is going to get both tanks off of the ground and slam them down. And that, my friends, looks like it's going to be the end of the attack for the Seattle Thunder for the Seattle Thunderbirds, for the Seattle Sea Lions. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice job. Zero to one. Switching sides. Yeah, I mean, Fundino's been popping off on that Genji. Legend Lubu's been doing a really good job of supporting that from the Ana, not just with the Nanos, but also with some really nice nades. I think the first blade he did on the attack, there was no Nano, but there was a good nade that managed to kill Immort as well as Anti, um, two of the people giving the assist. Which is really nice. That's just nice. I love it when Anna's so fun because she can help you like set up plays like that. Like if your ride's going in, if your Genji's going in, you can nade where they're gonna end up, and it's just so helpful. Ready. For All that. right. It looks like we're gonna have the same comp coming for in attack a round. with Hello. Widow Genji, Hello. Lucio. Yeah, baffle though. Legend Luba is going to stick on the Anna. Scarlet on the Baptiste. Dippity still on the McCree. This Haxi and P is going to be on the Tracer. Interesting. Sable on the Zarya and Frostcatcher on the Lucio. So it looks like Zalclus and Frost are swapping roles mid map. Don't know if that's technically allowed. But. I'm sure someone will tell me in the chat if it's in the rules or not. I thought you weren't allowed to change roles in the middle of a map. Or maybe it's just within a segment. And you can once you're attacking or defending reverse. Already very low, Zalclitz is forced to back off immediately. Looks like Hack CMP is trying to get some damage. Dippity is going to manage to pick its Joshi. And Dippity is also going to get Fundino over here. Trying to get Kaiju, but Kaiju will manage to go back in spawn. Nice, nice. They can hold for now. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, looks like we have a swap onto a tracer. We have a tracer duel happening in the back. Oh, looks like we're gonna go all the way around. Let's not. Some poke coming out. Smacking each other. Both rides very close to Earth Shatter. Potentially gonna be happening in the next minute or two, but it is going to take some tracer damage to back. Nice anti onto the Reinhardt after the sleep. Lift coming out from Chucho. He's gonna get four in the air. Nice, that is going to be three. Oh, and the Genji's just gonna reset all over it, and it's amazing. Rock onto the Tracer is not going to kill her. She's going to recall out of the ante and is going to just kind of sit here and stall on point, but is going to get cleaned up by Mr. Fundino. Ooh, that was a sick ass lift. And now we have the Nano Blade. Exciting. We do have a, ooh, a Shatter. I have to remember that my main tank has swapped now. A Shatter coming in. But the Nano Blade is in your back line. The beat comes out, but beat is not enough to save you from a Nano Blade, my friend. It is going to stall him. He is going to get the Immort pick. But it looks like SF might still have it. Oh, I don't know. They don't. They don't. Nano Blade invested. But the window was too good. Oh, I can't. He's swapping it up on me. It just makes it difficult for me to spec you guys. You just can't swap player. Gotta swap the roles when you're in spawn. Okay, makes sense. Alrighty, now they have Oop. Grab Pulse. Oop. She's already getting very aggressive taking this left angle, but it looks like 
Serendipity's also spotted him up here. Looks like they're trying to displace the McCree. They push him off the high ground. Managed to get him onto the low ground. Means he can't set up high noon from the high ground. Is going to try and go back up there, but he's facing against a Sigma. Already half HP. Oh, he's so low! And he's just gonna clean up. Kaijuo is going to put out the Pulse Bomb. Is going to manage to get Immort. Rav comes out. Pulse comes out. Beat also comes out. Is going to neutralize the Pulse. 60 seconds remaining, and it looks like, I've said this before, but it looks like SF have this. No? High Noon coming out. Eats coming out to counter, but Eat is going to go down. Draw is going to get Legend Lubu and a pin across. And a shatter! I feel like I've jinxed SF twice now. Ooh. Fundino is going to manage to get a pick. Gonna get two. This Tracer Genji are just still here on the point. It's 30 seconds remaining, although, ooh, and that's a bad pick. Yeah, you gotta back up and regroup with your team, man. They do have tank ultimates in the tank. They also have a blade if Fundino can manage to get back almost at a nano, but they are going into a window. Window's going to come out early and aggressively. Lift is going to come out. Oop, that's not the lift. It's going to get two, but there is a beat there. Shatter comes out as well. It's going to get three on the ground. Blade as well. Nano Blade. They are going to win this. It is overtime. It is the last fight. Hax MP is in the back causing some noise. Dragon Blade is going to get three, but the Shatter and the Pulse is going to manage to take down Choo Choo and Zaoklis is going to get Ethelred. It is Kaijua. It is just, it's again, it's just the DPS here. It's Hax MP stalling for his team. Inward is coming out. Oh, the reinforcements are coming. This is going to be up to Mr. Fundino to play this like a god. Is going to manage to clean up Dibity. Is going to manage to clean up Scarlet. Nice. The DPS looks like they're going to clutch out. There's still Lucio on point. The Wrecking Ball is here to stall it out. Oh my goodness. We're still, we're still here. We're still here. It's just dashing everywhere. Nice, they managed to get it in overtime, although. But they don't have to even push it all the way to second point. They just have to manage to get it around this building. And they are pushing up aggressively to prevent any further regroups. Trying to get onto Scarlet, but the flash is good. It is going to manage to buy them some space, although to get over the bridge, which is honestly the hardest part on this point, just because of the high ground that looks over it and the lack of options to do it. Kaiju also is going to win the Tracer duel against Hax MP. That is going to be a pulse bomb for Kaiju. High Noon comes out from Dippity on the high ground. Is going to get canceled out of it or cancels it by choice. Bombs away, almost pulses themselves. Immort comes out to counteract the pulse bomb. Dragon becomes him. Another Dragon Blade here is going to get two, three, four. And Hax MP is alone on this point once again. Stalling it out. Pulse bomb does come out. Doesn't manage to find anything. Nice kill to Hax MP. A nano boost administered does manage to touch a time. That is going to be another map win for the San Francisco Thunderbirds. Nice job. It's gonna be a Nana Blade for the Paka. No, it's gonna be that four man lift. It was a very sexy lift. It was a very good lift. Catches four of the team. Shatters, they're all so low so again she can just dash reset through it. Rock onto the tree. Uh, it's almost, I don't think the Tracer actually got hit by that rock. Maybe, it was close. 18 Dragon Blade kills and 6 Dragon Blades. That is quite nice. Alrighty. No, it is Seattle's map pick again. This is match point for the San Francisco Thunderbirds. If they win the next map, they win the game for tonight and go up against Seattle Sea Lions. Alright, alright. Let's see what map they pick. They took them to Rialto, which is pure escort, so it's going to be a hybrid. So it can be Blizzard World, Blizzard World, Numbani. What was the other one? This is a week eight game, not a week nine. Um, yeah, I think SF Thunderbirds also has to play two games this week. Oh, they already played two games. They already played against uh, Guangzhou Galactic. Um, and one. So, they can play Numbani, Hollywood, or Blizzard World for the next map. Let's see, let's see. 
Oh, looks like we have someone who is either restarting or is going to take a minute. I'm going to swap you guys over to this screen while I check the chat to make sure nothing's exploded. They just may be leaving. Maybe taking a break, sees? Maybe resetting? Yeah, I mean, that was that was a close one. They got it, to, like, good on Seattle. They got it to overtime by point eight. That was so close. The DPS just clutched out the Tracer and the Genji, just working really well together to get him low. I mean, the Lucio and the McCree were there, but it just wasn't quite enough. And the attacker reinforcements just came in a little bit faster. But it was close. That was so close. They won that off of a lot of really good lifts from Chucho and some nice Dragon Blade, uh, Nano Blade setup also by Legend Lubu and uh, Kaiju. Oh no. Uh, I mean, Haxi and P had some good pulses in there and some really good stalls on the point. Like Haxi and P stalled it out pretty hard on the tracer, but I don't think they really like popped off necessarily. I don't know. And then they seem to be having some issues with who to main tank because. Move Frostcatcher off the main tank position. Put uh, Exocliss, Zaucliss. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, Exoc Liss. I don't know, man. So they moved him up to main tank. So maybe there was some some struggle happening there behind the scenes that we don't know about. But it didn't seem to help them. Um, I don't even think it was like they're getting MTD'd by its Josh. If anything, they're getting OTD'd by Chucho um, and just DPS diffed. I mean, the DPS duo, like Kaiju and Mr. Fundino, seem to be playing really well together. Um, we'll see. I haven't. Maybe this just wasn't their map. Maybe it's not their night. We'll find out. We'll find out. No picks yet coming through in terms of map. You love Blizzard World bees. Blizzard World is a weird map. It's okay. Like, I don't hate it. But I don't love it. I think it's because I love everything but the first point. Like, the point is so weird to me. Because it's so far from the attacker spawn. Like, if you think of, like, King's Row... Hollywood's kind of got the same idea where the point is really far from the attacker spawn. And Numbani, I guess. It's just weird to me. I don't know. It's just a weird one to me. It's got a lot of, like, weird sort of high ground, but not really high ground, too. I don't know. Not a bad map, just a weird one. I also gave the score to the wrong team. It is San Francisco Thunderbirds that is up to, not the Seattle Sea Lions. Whoop. That is probably because the scores are flipped in the other thing. Let me fix that. Yeah. So in case you're wondering how many moving parts I have here, I have a lot of moving parts. It just makes you happy, bees. It's a very unique map, that's true. It is also kind of cool that it's, like, all of, like, Blizzard's, like... If we could make our own Disneyland, this is what it would look like. Which would be fun. If Blizzard World was a real place, would you go, um, Bees? Would you go to Blizzard World? Get yourself uh, a Snacks Ramus. Snacks. Alright. I have now swapped the scores so that I don't have to update them between between scenes all right oh and it looks like your wish is about to be granted we are going to be going to blizzard world bees we're here we're ready still waiting for either legend Lubin to come back or for san francisco to put in a different support in their place I don't know why you would if you could still play Legend Luba because they seem to be doing very well on the Ana.
looks like we're just moving people around. Unless Kaiju is actually going to shift to support. In which case, that will be interesting. It looks like they're going to be making some swaps. It looks like they're going to be bringing Flamingo back in with Ethelred and Ruhe on support. So Kaiju's going back on the bench for Blizzard World. Ethelred, I believe, is bronze? Whoop. We're entering game. We'll never know. Welcome to Blizzard World. But we will know because I'm going to do this. Ethelred. Initiating Competitive! 26, 25. Oh, they hit silver in 25. But yeah. But why would you hit silver? Listen, listen. If I was bronze, I would never climb. You're such an asset. Like, I would just never climb. Like, why? Like, bronze players are so valued in this league. Alright. Blizzard World. Some dynamic camera angles. Ready for battle. Well, looks like we are going to have a Ryan Zarya on the defense with Flamingo on the Widow, Fundino on the McCree, Ethelred on the Baptiste, and Ruhe on the Mercy. Going into what looks like a Scarlet on the Anna, Dippity on the Echo. Double bubble here with uh, Zauclus. I'm just going to call him Zauclus. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say I'm adding an A. It's like X. I A O Zao, but I don't know how to say that otherwise. Double bubble, sable on Zarya, Haxi MP on the tracer, Frostcatcher going over to the Five, Mercy. Four, three, Let's see where this double two, bubble decides to go. Immediate jump up is going to take a nice hello shot from the widow, forced to immediately bubble to protect themselves. Now that it is. Seven sec five seconds before they can get real aggressive again. So it was flicking shots from the left high ground. They're going to have to go and jump on them. There is no one up there, but they do. They spot Mr. Flamingo in the Duskwood, but he has spotted Haxi and on the train. It looks like they're going to get on this McCree and try to get aggressive. Your R managed to pick up, but not before Mr. Fundino manages to get the pick on Haxi and Pete. And then SF's just going to push in. Choo Choo's going to get two picks. Rez is going to come out from Ruhe onto Mr. Fundino, and then it is just going to... Oop, are they going to kill your mercy? They're going to kill your mercy. Up, and then back down, but it is going to be clean up from the tanks. A little bit scrappy, a little bit scrappy. But we have some ult charge, 80% on shatter for H. Josh. As well as 50% for both DPS alt tier. Let's watch some Widow gameplay. Some exciting Widow gameplay. Closest thing we have is a primal coming from the monkey, yeah. Flamingo has to play to carefully. They are waiting for Haxi and P, but Haxi and P has to find a way to get to them in the far back, which means they probably want to rotate all the way around in Duskwood. Whiff! Whiff! And the, the Tracer's there. Mercy Pocket is good, though. Echo hurts a lot. Tracer's behind you. They've recalled out. The mine, aggressively, is going to immediately... Oh, we're going to get triggered. And then the Winston is coming for you, and then you're just dead. Well, your Zarya is down. And, oh, that is an unfortunate positioning for the Ana. High Noon is going to manage to get Pax EMP. The Primal does come out. Dippity is going to get the cleanup pick on Mr. Fundino. Right now, it is the tanks. But there is also a burst here to pocket them. Winston's here, and it looks like, again, another scrappy fight with a lot of picks on both sides. But SF just manages to squeeze out the fight win. We have tank ults on a line now for SF with also support ults pretty much on line. Ethelred almost has window. Valk is available. It looks like we're going to have a copy oops, copy coming out from Dippity. Let's see if they use this fight. They also have a Valk on the side of Seattle Sea Lions with a pulse bomb almost here. I would say you copy the Rhine here. That's your only fucking chance. Do it. The bubble's there. Copy the Rhine. Shatter comes out. Copy the Rhine. 
And Flamingo does manage to get a pick onto Scarlet. Scarlet is going to get res by Frostcatcher. Valk comes out to support. Shatters here, fuse it. Doesn't manage to find anything. Grab does manage. Grab does manage to get two two walk into it. Hack CMP is going to get the pulse kill onto Ethel Red, but Dippity is getting poked out by the Fundino on the McCree over here. Hack CMP is going to manage to pick Ruhe. Is going to get flash and then is gonna miss the shot, man. That is a hard shot to hit, although dropping down on the high ground. Ooh, but that was a nice shot onto Dippity. They know you're back there, Tracer. But there is no support right now, and Flamingo is on very low HP. That's not Flamingo. Flamingo is on very low HP. Go pick up your Mercy, you idiot. Nope, they're gonna let her get picked. Ethelred does manage to get the pick onto Hax EMP. Almost have both DPS ults. Ethelred does have Window. They do have a Nano, and it is going to come on to Zalclus, who swaps over to the Reinhardt off of the Winston, but it's not going to matter. It's, it's Josh. It's just going to shatter, and then they're going to capitalize off of that shatter, and Scarlet is going to get cleaned up, finally. Ooh! Need HP! Woo! Close. It is overtime. Dragon comes out! Do not touch my point. There's a Tracer here. It's going to get flashed. It's going to get cleaned up by the Reinhardt of all people. There's a Soldier on point. The Legs is here. There's a Mercy here. Mercy is going to get cleaned up. Soldier's gonna do some this man. Flamingo cannot stay at full HP for too long, can he? Nice high noon. Oof. A strong defense coming out from the San Francisco Thunderbirds. Score. Zero to zero. Alright. Switching sides. Initiating the And now it is time for SF to attack. They only have to get like a tick on point A, I think. They did extremely well with their defense. I don't think they gave up a tick, if I recall correctly. Is that gonna be a Winston Rhine? Or is that a Wrecking Ball to just goof off? This may be leftover health bars also from the last map, so it may swap. Yep. Ready for battle. Azaria Sigma. I don't know if that's real. Uh, Flamingo on the Tracer. Fundinos decide it's my turn to play Widowmaker, guys. Um, since everyone else on the team has. Ethelred on the Bab. Ruhe on the Mercy. They're going, looks like going to be going into a Rhine Sig. Uh, Zalclus on the Rhine. Sable on the Sigma. Dippity's gonna be on the Mercy. Or Mercy May. Hack CMP on the McCree with Scarlet on the Baptiste and Frostcatcher going over to the Anna. It looks like this is real. They're really going to be doing the Sig Zarya. Interesting. Maybe they're looking to Sig 9 them? Oh no, they just put the shield up. They were anticipating a Widow. Okay, okay. I see, I see. I see the plan. I see the plan. They're playing very far back here. On point. You want to play on point with the May and Marie. Trace is going to try and go around and get some off angles. It's going to take an icicle to the face. Go back to the team for some healing, but it's not there. It's going to be forced to recall. Heal your Tracer. There we go. There we go. A little bit of pick coming out. Scarlet forced to use their own heal. It's Angelo. Scarlet is going to go down. Ooh, but Flamingo is going to go down. Frostcatcher getting poked out by Azaria in the back line. Is going to get picked out, although Hax MP is just. Oh, oh, Hax MP cleaning up. Almost has High Noon off of this fight. Three minutes, although, to get a single tick on Blizzard World. It is very doable, but thus far, the defense from Seattle Sea Lions has looked extremely strong. Let's see. Almost have Valkyrie here for the San Francisco, as well as a Shatter. Almost at Window as well, but they are pushing into oops, a Shatter. As well as the Nano. Shatter comes out the wall, blocks it. The Nano comes onto the Reinhardt from Frostcatcher. The Valkyrie is already out, although to support it. Ooh, but the Zarya is low. Shushu is going to go down to Hax AP as well as the Reinhardt, and it looks like Immortality is out, but it's Jossie is going to get cleaned up. Hax AP is going to high noon. It's going to find Mr. Fundino. Sable is going to get a pick. Right now, Chucho got rezzed, it looked like, and then it's back, but it's going to have to back out immediately to reset and regroup for the next fight. They almost have a grab. 
But pulse has been used, and that was your big combo. It is also going to be a test of if this lift could be really good. This could be game changing, or if he can eat this grab. Let's see if Sable can eat this grab. They have to know they have it. Lift comes out. It's gonna get three. Immortality comes out to cover it all though. The wall does block off the immortality. Grab comes out. Window to support the grab. Shatter! And they're just gonna press Q to win. Nano Ryan is on the field, but this Panino's gonna get two with the high noon. And that is all she wrote. Victory. San Francisco Thunderbirds are going to win Blizzard World and win the game tonight. Nice job, SF. Play of the with game. Mr. Fundino going to get the play of the game with that last high noon, possibly? Ooh. Yes, it's gonna be that last high noon. Manages to McCree, Diff, Pax EMP, Nano Ryan, but the shield does go down. Oof! That's a tank carry. Look at that. Look at that man go. All right. Well, nice jobs to both teams and congratulations to the SF Thunderbirds. That was an excellent uh, demonstration of your skills. Chucho had a lot of really good plays, both on the Zari and on the Sigma. It's Josh, phenomenal Reinhardt, Mr. Fundino. Some really good plays on the Genji as well as the McCree, I believe that they played as well. Um, and Ethelred and Ruhe did nice. Uh, Legend Lubu had some really nice nades in there too. Um, Hax DMP had some good plays. Frostcatcher had some good early plays on Legion Tower when they were on main tank before they swapped to support later in the night. That was just a strong showing. Well, thank you all for joining me. That was a pretty quick cast, just an hour and a half. But it was a good and fun game. Hopefully I will catch you guys all next week when I cast whatever game is going to be on my list for next week. Have a good night, y'all.